Prophet Muhammad's Night Journey and Ascension. In the twelfth year of Prophet Muhammad's mission, Angel Gabriel descended down to Prophet Muhammad and opened his chest up once again to remove his heart and wash it, to strengthen him to what he was about to see and experience. Known as the Night Journey and Ascension, Isra wal Miraj in Arabic. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, took a night journey from the Masjid al Haram in Mecca to Masjid al Aqsa in Jerusalem on a speedy beast which was called Al Barak in the company of Archangel Gabriel. When they reached their destination, they tied the beast to a ring in the gate of the mosque. Prophet Muhammad prayed two units of prayer and turned around and found all the prophets behind him. He led the prophets in prayer. After visiting Masjid al-Aqsa, they ascended physically to the heavens. Angel Gabriel set out with Prophet Muhammad on the same horse till they reached the first heaven. When they reached the gate, the guardian angel asked, Who is it? Angel Gabriel answered, It's Gabriel. Then the voice asked, Who are you with? In which Angel Gabriel responded, Muhammad. The voice asked, Has Muhammad been called for? Angel Gabriel responded, Yes. The voice responded, Then he is welcome. What an excellent visit this is. Then the gate opened. Prophet Muhammad saw Prophet Adam there in the first heaven. Angel Gabriel introduced Prophet Adam to Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon them both. This is your father, Adam. Send him your greetings, said Angel Gabriel to Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad greeted Prophet Adam. Prophet Adam responded with a greeting and said, You are welcomed, O pious son and pious prophet. Then Angel Gabriel and Prophet Muhammad ascended to the second heaven, then the third, and then the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh heaven where they saw and greeted other prophets of God, including Prophet John, Yahya, and Jesus, Esau, Joseph, Enoch, Idris, and Aaron, Harun, Moses, and Abraham. Peace be upon them all. Then Prophet Muhammad was carried to Sidrat al-Mataha, the remotest lot tree, where its fruits are like jugs and its leaves are as big as elephant ears. He was also shown al-Bayt al-Mamur, the much frequented house, which is located above the Kaaba in the seventh heaven, which has a group of 70,000 angels circle it, leave, and never to return, being followed by the next group of 70,000 angels, and will continue like this until the day of judgment. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was then presented to the divine presence of Allah, the Glorious, where Allah issued the five daily prayers to us. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, returned, some of the people believed in his story, as they were well aware of the power and the ability of God. And some did not believe him and mocked him, including one of the biggest enemies of Islam, Abu Jahl.